Oh, cue the violins and roll out the red carpet, because the Duke and Duchess of Disruption, Harry and Meghan, are back at it again with their latest performance in the royal soap opera. This time, Tom Bauer, the royal commentator with a flair for the dramatic, has taken to the airwaves to declare them as nothing short of poisonous. Trust them? According to Bauer, you'd have better luck trusting a snake in a bunny costume. So, what's the fuss about now? Well, Harry, in what can only be described as a hit-and-run visit, popped over to the UK for a lightning-fast catch-up with his father, King Charles, who's battling cancer. But here's the kicker. Harry's visit was so short, you'd miss it if you blinked, spending less time with his father than most people spend deciding what to watch on Netflix. And then, as if on cue, Harry vanished back to the US faster than a magician's assistant, only to surface in Las Vegas, ready to sprinkle his royal dust on the NFL honors. Because, priorities. Meanwhile, the Sussexes have been mum about Charles's health, whispering sweet nothings privately while the public eye rolls in unison. Bowers take, he's not buying what they're selling. He called Harry's transatlantic dash a sham, a self-serving spectacle designed to paint him as the prodigal son, all while casting a shadow over the monarchy and Britain itself. But it's as if Harry got the boot from the palace faster than you can say family feud, with not a single royal bed offered for his stay. Message received, don't let the palace door hit you on the way out, Harry. And just when you thought this royal rumble couldn't get any juicier, there's talk of Harry wanting to bring his kids, Archie and Lilibet, to the UK. You know, for some quality time with Granddad Charles and the cousins. But plot twist. Meghan's having none of it preferring to keep the pond between her and the British Isles as wide as possible. Harry, on the other hand, is apparently on a mission to mend fences, armed with nothing but his good intentions and a shovel to dig up the past. The insiders are whispering that he's got his work cut out for him if he wants to play happy families again. Meghan, ever the strategist, seems content to watch the drama unfold from the safety of Montecito, leaving Harry to navigate the treacherous waters of royal reconciliation solo. As for their feud with the rest of the royals, well, it's business as usual, with Meghan giving the UK a wide berth in 2023, presumably because she's allergic to tea and scones now. So there you have it, folks. Another day, another dramatic chapter in the saga of Harry and Meghan versus the royal establishment. Grab your popcorn and stay tuned, because if history has taught us anything, it's that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are full of surprises, and the royal drama is far from over.